Hey, good afternoon. My name is Ed Fiore with X Tackle here today to talk about our spin beads and rattle beads. Um, had a lot of questions about you know how are you guys rigging them, what are you guys doing. Uh, there's lots of pictures on our Facebook page from lots of different people around the country that have been having great success with them. Um, so we're just going to really show you what we're doing today. Um, you know, one of the things you know from a component perspective. Um, you can use any combinations of colors. Um, I know like Lake of the Woods, um, purples and golds have been doing really well. And up in Lax, we've had probably the best luck with silver. Um, but I know guys that were pulling reds and doing really well too. So it is really what you're comfortable with. Um, the technique is really simple. Um, for those of you who don't recognize this, this is a little kid's tube cut up. Um, this is a really good way to store these things. Um, I have a tendency to you know, tie a lot of rigs before I go fishing. So I don't want to be doing it in the boat. So I'll tie up. You know, five or six of these tubes with different color combinations, depending on what I want to do. Um, if I need to change the beads, I just bring my boxes with and I just flip the beads out. I can just cut the top off and, and redo it. But the tubes are kind of nice. I use a little push pin. Um, wrap the leader around here. Um, obviously pull the hook off. Um, <laughs> from the technique perspective, um, it's really simple how we tie them. Um, you, know, you can see this one's got a couple different color beads on it. Um, I'm running a revolve hook, so kind of a slow death type of hook. This is a revolve from Eagle Claw. Um, I run a number eight power swivel from Spro. It's very tiny. You can hardly see it in this picture. Um, this is a really nice power swivel. It's a 50 pound test. It's very strong. Um, there's a number 10, which is a 35 that will pass through eyelets really simply or really easily. Um, I chose not to use that. I just don't care for it. But my fishing line, the line here is really important. Um, I am using a Brazex fluorocarbon. Uh, it's very abrasion resistant. Um, you know, if you're pulling through zebra mussels or pulling through rock, um, it's really nice to have a line that's really going to hold up well. Um, my leader is typically about three feet. Um, I might tie them a little longer, um, but because it's got a pretty small power swivel on it, you really don't notice it. Um, and then what we're doing from there is we're fundamentally just hooking them to a bottom bouncer. Um, you know, reeling a couple feet off the bottom if you're on the mud or in the gravel. Um, if you want to fish it suspended, uh, you can run a snap weight. Um, I actually prefer the snap weight myself over the bottom bouncer. Um, I run it about 25 feet in front of the line, just clip it on in front of the, I'm sorry, in front of the uh, bait and just clip it on. Uh, it works really well for me. Um, I prefer this just because I can run a little more suspended. I can run a little more stealthy. Um, you know, this thing's going to drag through mud and all kinds of other stuff. I mean, I, I just prefer to, to run this myself. Um, hook wise though, materials are pretty simple. Um, I run a single hook in most cases. I have put some small trailer hooks. This is like a number 10 Gamagatsu treble um, that I've actually put on the back of these things if you're getting short bit. Um, we've been running crawlers. A uh, bunch of guys have been running leeches on them. Um, you can run minnows on them. You can pretty much do whatever you want. From a hook perspective, um, you know, just pick your favorites. Uh, there are people that I know that will only run long shank hooks. They will not run the, the Revolve type hooks. Um, I know other guys that are just running straight up octopus hooks. Um, one of the other techniques that people are doing, um, it's another very simple uh, for those of you in the upper midwest that like the Lindy rig, um, really just kind of change the bead out. Instead of running a you know standard plastic bead, they're putting small you know six millimeter rattle bead on there. It just gives it that little extra noise. Um, this is pretty much a finesse rig. This line's a little bit lighter. This is an eight pound fluorocarbon versus a 12 that I was doing on my other rigs. Um, you can also put an octopus together with a little with a with a number six spin bead. Sorry about that. Um, number six spin bead. You get that nice little flash in front of it. Um, doesn't take a lot to move this in the water. They're very lightweight. Um, it'll drag your line down a little bit, but not too bad. So that's another technique that people are doing. Um, if you have any other questions, though, feel free to drop me an email. Uh, my name is Ed Fiore again. My email is ed at xtackle.com. Uh, you can always drop a note on our Facebook page. There's lots of people on there. I'd be more than happy to answer any questions for you. Um, that's all I have for today. I appreciate your time. Have a good day. Good fishing to you.